I am one of the member of the Society of Aeronautical Engineers and uh, here we can see the Zyre or uh, we can say it as ultra light aircraft why we are saying it as an ultra light aircraft means it can carry only 450 kgs with the passengers and uh, with, the, with the passenger and a uh, pilot it is a conventional type aircraft we can see the conventional type means uh, it can have the conventional controls like flap aileron elevator rudder and all like normal aircraft it can fly like a normal aircraft here inside the cockpit we can see the pedals and control sticks and this is the throttle this cut so here we can see the control stick and this control stick is used to do activate the elevator and also the aileron of the aircraft and this is the throttle by we are activating the throttle we can uh, accelerate the aircraft so that uh, it will uh, move faster or uh, fly faster now here we can see the pedals we know the pedals are used to, to activate the radar of the aircraft and uh, these are the instruments which is uh, uh, which help in flying you can see the vertical speed indicator which will uh, helps to uh, find the climb rate of the climb and descent rate of the uh, uh, aircraft flying and uh, here we see the winter uh, indicator is there it is a it is called uh, side slip indicator it is used to, to tell uh, the balance of the aircraft if the uh, aircraft is uh, under in the under balance condition mean it will in uh, at the center of the the indicator will be at the center well if, if it is in uh, right side means uh, the it is slipped towards the aircraft is slipped towards right side likewise here we are, there are so many indicators first before starting the engine we have to put the key and uh, first we should on the master switch then we have to on the uh, pump, main pumps of the aircraft and uh, then only we will uh, ignite or we will crank and we should start the ignition and so uh, before starting it should uh, start the both uh, on the on both the ignition switches and then we need to crank the aircraft and uh, by crank cranking the aircraft will start and uh, we will get a forward motion because of the propeller at the top of the aircraft top of the wing and uh, here uh, we can see the flap the flap is activated by activating like this if you are uh, moving the uh, st control stick like this uh, forward the flap will be deflected downwards and if you are uh, moving backwards the uh, flap will be deflected upwards this is the engine of the aircraft and it is a two stroke engine this propeller it is made up of a composite material and uh, this this is the wing of the aircraft and uh, this wing is made up of a uh, flexible material which is made up, made up of which is called decron it is a special material which is very costly and uh, this is used for uh, this flexible wing and uh, it makes the wing very ultra light and it can carry only uh, uh, first itself I say six trees this is the aileron of the wing of this aircraft and uh, by activating the aileron we can get the banging motions and this is the flap in order to increase lift we will uh, deflect the flap like this by deflecting it downwards we will get more lift same way if the aileron is moved uh, out, uh, if the uh, starboard side the aileron is moved up we will get the banging it will the aircraft will bang towards the right side or the starboard side same opposite uh, will happen when the uh, port side aileron is activated uh, upward and this is the elevator of the aircraft and finally we can see the, the rudder of the aircraft the rudder is used to <coughs> have the longitudinal motions like uh, if, uh, if, uh, if an aircraft want to move left side or uh, towards right side or uh, it uh, need to move towards the port side or starboard side we need to activate this radar by uh, activating it can move towards uh, both sides and this is the elevator 